here in the studio to talk more about the significance of today's manufacturing data is Mr. Joseph Minorick. He's the Senior Vice President, Director of Research for the Committee of Economic Development. Welcome back to Biz Asia America. We, we have three parts of the world, the U.S., Europe, and China. All three are saying something slightly different. I thought in all the data points that we saw over the last couple of months that things were getting better, but today clearly shows it's a mixed picture. How do you feel? Well, the U.S. economy is showing a little bit of headwinds. It seems to be coming from the federal government's policy. Federal government is cutting back fairly substantially on defense spending. A lot of the defense purchases, of course, come from our manufacturing sector. What we got today was a manufacturing reader that reading that showed a small contraction. It, I mean, is it surprising? I mean, let's just focus on the U.S. For, for just a moment because we saw the data over the past couple of months. Unemployment has improved. We saw that the, the jobless rate, the, the weekly unemployment numbers, they've also improved. And we've seen some fairly good signs, benign inflation being one of them. Are you surprised that the economy isn't stronger than it is? I, I know you mentioned the federal government as, as part of the reason. Right. Well, we've, we have had a recovery. We're moving in the right direction. We are moving at a much s slower pace than you would anticipate. It's frustrating. Given the depth, it is, it is very frustrating. You know, we had improvements in the unemployment numbers. A lot of that has come from people who have dropped out of the labor force rather than people getting jobs. So it's, it's very much a mixed picture, not the kind of advance that you would expect to see from the deep recession that we saw. I mean, President Obama has been touting these, these stronger numbers over and over again. But at the same time, you saw a number today that showed a contraction in the manufacturing. It, it's got to be increasingly frustrated. Is there anything that the federal government or the Treasury or, for that matter, the Fed can do to stimulate the manufacturing sector? Well. What we ought to do is to try to stimulate the economy as a whole. Manufacturing will move along with that. Uh, we probably don't want to look at an industrial policy and Can try we to blame steer Europe? those decisions. Uh, this is not, uh, we don't is think it's the right way it, to go. Is it fair to blame Europe? I mean, they've been sluggish for most of the year. They recently started picking up. We saw that data out of Germany on manufacturing. That's encouraging, right? Yeah, well, the, the whole world is basically sluggish with some upticks that we're seeing. Uh, China had a little bit of a downdraft. Now it looks like there's, there's something of a recovery going on. But all of this in, in the wake of that extreme economic downturn is not satisfying. It's not a, the kind of rapid recovery well, I mean, I, I you'd think like to have. China perhaps symbolizes the rest of the world because we saw two data points on manufacturing out of China. One showed contraction, one showed growth. The investors toss a coin up. Which one do you want to, to, to bet your future on? The issue is this, is manufacturing in Asia on its slowing or is it growing? Uh, manufacturing in Asia on the whole probably is growing. You have some countries there that are relatively strong centers of growth, but this is not, uh, it's not wall to wall. It's not a strong recovery all across the world and it is causing us some difficulty here in the United States. No question about that. It's frustrating. We can't get into one direction. Joe Minerick, thank exactly. you very much. Good to have you back on the thank show. You.